just wanted to do this one so you can really see which pant is the darkest. So the top one's the Columbia, the second one, that really black one, that's that Duluth No Rainer. Uh, the third one down, this is the, the 33,000 pant from Amazon. And then this one is that other Duluth um, AKHG pant, the Olympic Coast. So I'd say the most black is the uh, No Rainer pant, and the second most black is probably this um, Olympic pant from Duluth. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven. This is all about soccer referee education. Today we're talking about gear. Um, there's nothing worse than not only being cold at a game, but being cold and wet. I hate that. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about four different pairs of rain pants that I purchased. I have not used any of these yet. I just bought them all to compare them and then I'm gonna, I have a decision on which one I'm gonna be keeping. I would not recommend that you wear rain gear if you're doing the World Cup or a very serious match. Obvious, obviously, in general, you want to dress the same as the players. So if they're in shorts and you know t-shirts, then you're going to be in shorts and in a t-shirt. You know, you, you kind of match them. You know, you don't want to show up in snow pants. You know, if they're like not dressed for those sorts of conditions, because you're just like a player. Um, before I get into the pants, I want to say one thing. Uh, this uh, rain coat that I bought is from AKHG is the brand. It's from the, the Duluth Trading Company. Folks, this coat is sharp. It's like a true jet black, like solid black. It's got um, a zipper that opens at the top and down at, down at the bottom here. Um, it's got Velcro around both of the uh, cuffs to, to tighten them up. It's got a chest pocket. It's got two side pockets here and here. It's got a hood. And there's a little drawstring here on the hood if you want to tighten it up. But uh, I wore this thing all over the weekend and it just looks really clean and professional and nice. I was uh, doing an AR for some uh, regional games and it's just a nice looking coat. And again, if you want to stay dry out there, this is, this is one that I'm using that I'm really happy with. All right, now onto the pants. So I ended up buying four pair of rain pants. Uh, the first two I bought off Amazon, the other two I got from the Duluth Trading Company. The first pair I bought off Amazon were these Columbias. Uh, I will put a link in the description of them. Uh, these are not like a true black, they're more of like a grayish. They have no pockets on the front or in the back and uh, on the ends of them, when you don't do this little Velcro thing here, this thing, I swear, like just the pant leg is really, really wide. It almost looks like you're back in the 70s and you're wearing bell bottoms. Um, but you can kind of take this thing and push it over like, like this to kind of uh, shore up some of the fabric. But I just don't think it's a really clean look, look and I don't love the color that it doesn't match with this black. And uh, again, really wide pant legs. I can say nothing of its actual performance, um, but th these pants were kind of pricey and I'm not going to be going with them just because of how they look on my body. I'm six feet tall, 170 pounds, and these were 32, 32s, which were mediums and uh, just not really flattering. Got, they got this little drawstring here. You can just see kind of I mean, they just look really thick on my skinny legs, all right? So maybe I need to hit the weight room, right? <laughs> so uh, that's those guys. Wow, you know? My legs look a lot bigger than they actually are. There's those guys. Okay. And this is with the black coat on top. And again, this clearly looks like almost like a, like a gray pant compared to this. A lot of extra fabric and even if I cinch these guys down as much as I can, I, there's just still a lot of extra material here. So those are those guys. Yeah. The, so that's the Columbia.
The next pant that I got comes from the Duluth Trading Company. These are the men's no rainer pants. Uh, the biggest thing that sticks out to me about these pants is this material is heavy. Like this is not a running around in material. It's 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 like thick and heavy, and um, you know they've 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 got uh, like this kind of big cargo pant pocket thing here in the front on on the front right. There's no left pocket. There is a back zip pocket, which is nice right here. And then on the sides, there is a long, which I actually like this feature. There's a long zip right here. Boom, check that out, okay? So the interior of this material actually looks really nice. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and when you zip it up, you can zip this thing down and then you got this flap to cover it so no rain comes into the seams. But honestly, this thick type of material, I mean, I unless it's like a torrential downpour, I just do not see myself moving well in this material and for that reason, uh, as they say in Shark Tank, I'm out. But I am curious about this, this cool inside material that they got uh, inside the... Um, on the inside of the pant. I don't know what it is. It looks cool and more high tech than what was in the Columbia's. So that's got my attention a little bit. And on the inside, there is a little drawstring here. And uh, I guess that's how you tighten up the pants. And again, these are 32, 30, 32s, and it's a no because the fabric is too heavy. And again, these just feel I mean, a lot of extra room here in like the crotch area. Um, thick, heavy pants. I feel like almost. I feel like they're like gripping my long johns that I'm wearing on underneath these. Like when I raise my leg up. And I mean, just look at all this material, guys. This is just not. Oops, not well fitting. Here's these guys. I mean, maybe I need to go with a smaller size. But again, these are really wide even though the, there's a nicer color, color match there. Got this front pocket right here, cool. And then you got the one in the back right there. Boom, what about your red card? But again, it's, uh, don't look that, that nice. And then over here on the side, they got this big, Zip that thing all the way up. And there's that cool inside material. They use it at the space station. Just kidding. Okay, uh, our third pair of pants is from Amazon. These are the uh, 33,000 feet pants. Um, they're called, yeah, just 33,000. Um, these pants have two front pockets on the left and the right, here and here. They have no back pocket. They have a side or a bootleg zip so you can take the pants off without taking off your shoes if you're like in a warm up or something. You, you undo that little Velcro right there and then you zip this down. Just like that. This seam is not like a liquid sealed seam or anything. So, you know, water could get in right there at that little seam. It's not like a liquid lock seam, like on some other, other pants. And then there is this little kind of gray reflection stripe here thing. I'm pointing to it with my finger. I'm really not crazy about that. I think it makes the pant look less clean. Um, and again, compared to my totally black jacket, it's not a perfect match. I would say, of all the four pants that I got, that Duluth No Rainer, uh, which is the really heavy fabric, that's the closest true black to what I'm actually wearing here. Um, but I don't like that the heaviness of, of the fabric. But uh, these guys, here's a look at the inside. You have you kind of have this, it's like this like mesh fiber stuff. It, it can kind of pull away from the interior of, of the pant. So there's like two two layers there on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that. That doesn't 
really scream quality to me. It seems like the Duluth pants have got a better material there on the inside. You know, this, this stuff can move freely from the other layer that's in these uh, 33,000 pants. And, uh, you know, stretchy waistband, and then they got this little tie-off thing here to tighten them down. So those are the 33,000 pants right there. These are one of my top con contenders, actually, because of price and fit. For someone who's on a budget or something, I'd say this is probably going to be the pant that I would choose out of these four. Um, a, little, a little, you know, less... Less extra material up here in the crotch area. You got these two pockets here. One, two. Um, there is no back pocket here. Okay. Um, not as wide in the leg, it seems, with these guys. Definitely these guys feel much lighter. I feel much more mobile. And these, you know, someone gets too close to you, you just do, you just do the karate chop. Um, and again, they, they got this. You can un un unzip in there, and interestingly, I, I didn't say this earlier, but there's this smooth material down here at the base part, and then it goes to this, this like fabricy stuff with the two layers from like the knee up. So that, boom, boom, and again, you can see how it matches up with the actual black there. How well you guys can see that. Not a perfect match. Okay, these are not bad. And then finally, uh, these are the Duluth. Uh, what are these called? The Duluth AKHG Olympic Coast Pants, 2.5 layer rain pants. Um, the first thing I want to show you is uh, check out this interior material. This is just a single material. It's not like in the 33,000 pants where you had the two layers. Here's the interior of this stuff. See how that looks? It's just a single layer. Now black on the outside. They have a back pocket, zip pocket right here. And then they have two front pockets, one on each side. So that, that looks nice. Down on the, on the bottom leg, they have this little clasp thing here that you can undo that. And then this is a liquid sealed seam. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like this is a really tight seam. There's probably not a lot of water is going to get through through here. So that's kind of a higher quality. See that? So that looks really nice and clean. And again, there's that cool material. This, is, this, this, this feels like a higher quality pant than the 33,000 one that I, that I just show, showed you. Got that. Um, yeah, probably a little bit. This pant, the 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 Duluth pant, is probably lighter than this thirty three thousand pant. Because I remember this one's got like the two layers. If money is less of an object for you guys, I would. These are the uh, AG AKHGs. What are these called again? The Olympic Coast. Um, I I actually like these. Um, they got these two front pockets, which which is nice. They also got this back pocket. These feel light and mobile. Um, I might actually go from a 3232 down to like a 3030 or something, because you know I still got some extra room up here. These are stretchy, and um, got a little extra fabric here, so I might go down a size to see how that looks. Um, the color is pretty close to my uh, black raincoat. And these probably do not fit me quite as well right now as the 33,000 pants. But maybe if I went down a size, these would fit me better. I do think though that this is probably the nicest quality pants. Um, and that's all I gotta say, folks.